After nearly 75 years, the Art Institute of Atlanta is sending a stunning announcement to students that it will close at the end of September. Atlanta News First reporter Joshua Skinner caught up with former faculty and graduates to discuss what this means for Atlanta's art scene and the Institute's legacy. Inside the Abernathy Art Center in Sandy Springs. What's happening? What's going on? Director Mindy Spritz peruses the latest faculty artwork. This is um, Mr. Vassell's uh, work, and you can really see um, the purples, the yellows, and the ochres. She knows all about art paintings. in Atlanta. Art scene in Atlanta is enormous. It has exploded in the last 20 years. It's always changing, and change is very, very exciting. But a recent sudden change in local luminism is placing light on the Art Institute of Atlanta. A friend of mine just casually mentioned to me, like, hey, did you find out, did you hear that school's closed? The Institute sent an email to students Friday, saying it will close its doors for good on September 30th partly blaming tough conditions arising from the pandemic. Fabian Herrera is a 2018 graduate. I was expecting it, but wasn't expecting it. He says the signs have been there for a while, and that constantly shifting ownership, layoffs, and elimination of student housing all played a role. When I first started going, I really enjoyed it. Near the very end of you know my career there, it just kind of started going downhill a lot. All driven home by the suddenness of the closure. If students were looking to find answers at the Art Institute this weekend, well, they won't find any because both gate entrances to the art school are locked. And those locks could create a gap in the Atlanta art scene. Those um, majors and those students who graduated fed all the industries here in Atlanta. But for now, students are scrambling Graduates are left wondering what might have been. We kind of feel like we've wasted our time and money going here. And the industry wondering what's next. Atlanta is a resilient town. In Sandy Springs, Joshua Skinner, Atlanta News First.